Well, it's not just the snow, and we got three new inches here, and it's not just the wind, but it's the combination of the two that create a cold that really gets to you. Arctic wind chills prevailed overnight in much of the eastern half of the country, and it may be just the start. I am freezing my butt off right now. Wind chills in the south were striking. Atlanta, Nashville, and Raleigh were positively polar. After this initial cold shot in the next 48 hours or so, it looks like the weather pattern is going to be susceptible for more cold and maybe some more storms as well between now and the Christmas holiday. Lake effect snow buried Cleveland on Monday and the high winds at times 50 miles an hour created horizontal blizzards and impassable roads all along the shores of the Great Lakes. Let's see if this effort is successful. There were still a few vehicles along the side of the road in Indiana where dozens of motorists were trapped Sunday and early Monday after an accident boxed them in, some for as long as 12 hours. There were whiteouts in Michigan, and in Chicago, waves buffeted its famous Lakeshore Drive. The snow, having turned their former dome home into something resembling a deflated souffle, the unlucky Minnesota Vikings faced the New York Giants in the Detroit Lions home last night. Is that clear? At least the price of admission was right. Tickets were free. I've never seen any team other than the Lions play, and now I get to see two different teams. Well, they saw the Vikings lose last night, and one of the legacies of this storm could be the Vikings' hunt for temporary accommodations to see them through the rest of this season. Harry? Dean Reynolds in St. Joseph, Michigan. Snowy and cold St. Joseph, Michigan. Thank you so much.